Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. Pretty booked flight, isn't it? <laughs> we are bearing down in northern Manitoba with gang ganglers. And this is why we like to hunt on the ground. Our next Chicago Cup second baseman is going to have a batting average of 375. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, you know, we have a lot of fun joking around and kidding, but this is a very special week for us. It is. We're going to actually air the whole Quiver of Dreams. We did this. This was an idea for us to, to thank all of our viewers and all the people that go to our website. And we had this idea. We had the Quiver of Dreams. Christy, she won it. And yep. she, we surprised her and her whole family at the house. We actually drove up with the whole, well, part of the crew. That's right. We went up and we had, due to all of our partners, our sponsors, they sent a bunch of product. and. Yep. And so we did that. But now we actually get to take you on the hunt that she won up at Canadian sub to Cunning with Kent Ganglers. So we're going to share with you a very special time. And well, just so everyone knows, this is the first of, we hope, many Archer's Choice Quiver of Dreams. That's right. And if you happen to see the lucky logo this week, it's new archery product. Nap. Nap. N-A-P. Nap. We'll let you know what to do with it afterwards. OK, let's start rolling that footage. Nap. <laughs> Dreams. We're gonna go make someone's quiver of dreams reality. Oh, sorry, the balloons got in his face. Can you get arrested for driving with balloons? Hey, Shorty. Hey, buddy, how are you? <laughs> well, that's cool to hear. Hey, what, what's your address? Because we wanted to send you guys some stuff. Okay, what color is your house? Yeah, well, why, why don't you come out the front door? Why don't you come out the front door? <laughs> hey, guys! Hey, guys! How, how you doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, how Jordan. you guys doing? Now you know, understand buddy. why we <laughs> needed you guys to be home! Now uh, you are surprised! Kind of just, oh, surprised. We've been trying to put this together for a while, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> We, we want you to know, Hoyt, their new line is just coming out. And both of you guys are going to get brand new Hoyts. Oh my God. We want you to go through yeah. the catalog and check, look, you know, look at what you want. And we just need to know your specs and everything. <laughs> Love it. And Hoyt's going to send you guys each a brand new bow. Oh, wow. And Good. just Thank so you know, you. beaming. If you want, if you're shooting carbons, if not Easton, yeah, but we need to know your sizes yeah, we'll and all that. Dust. You're gonna, Holy everything's crap. all. It's an Archer's Choice package. Yeah, and then like we said, we couldn't do a sweepstakes because there's too many legal yeah. things. Legality. Right. So this is just gifts. You can't have fun anymore. We're just gifts no. and uh, an appreciation for thank you so much. Oh, oh, and we mean yeah. that. But this is a riot. And now, oh, and now you guys can go <laughs> back on the forum and you guys can tell everyone what we just did to you. Oh yeah, one no. Well, we have one more, one more thing, and that is um. If you guys watch the show, you've seen the show where we call it Manitoba Monsters. It's the, where we go up with Ken Gangler, sub yes. Yes. It's way up north in, in Manitoba. Okay. And uh, we want to invite you both to come hunting with us. Up there hunting this spring. You guys can make oh. it. Yes. Oh, my if God. If you can make it. I mean, if, it, if, okay. it's, if it's a twist your arm kind yeah, of thing. We don't, we don't want to come with. He, he wants to know if he has to get on an airplane. Yes. Oh, yeah, actually. Come. With a shirt like that, that you're a friend. Uh, uh, and uh, just so you know, it's no. The plane is fine. It's when you hit the ground. No. You're sitting back. you never seen them back into the ground. They always go Are these guys going to cushion me? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. it. I told them they do make these little pills that make you just go, yeah, whatever. It, you're like, yeah. you know. Okay. And actually, so you start off in a really big plane, so you get used to it. And then as you get to Thompson, you get in a small plane. You get one plane, where your feet hang out the bottom you, and you and pedal. And you get to the next one where you're <laughs> in the water. So, you know. So, would you guys like to go? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, in a heartbeat. If he doesn't want to go, you can bring someone else. So I can bring Tara. There you go, there Tara. You, you can come up there home with us. Dad can stay home. That's it. You know. Actually, cut.
cut down an entire tree. So I've got plenty of opening over here. Only 13 and a half yards from the bait. We're ready. We're ready to go. Hey, don't go away because when we come back, we're going to see if Christy can... Cr can fill her quiver of dreams. I was going to say that. Yeah, well, I finished it for Whew. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, Christy's all settled in on the ground. Let's see if she connect. What do you see? Flesh tones. <laughs> Christy, that had to really hurt. fast we shot him I shot him about 1040 something like that 1030 1040 I mean that's probably a dead bear but uh, we're still gonna back out I'd much rather be safe than sorry so we're gonna back up first thing in the morning we'll be back mm. I think what is it 830 this morning got a little late in later than we planned on um, we think like we said last night, when the bear went off, he hooked. And we're thinking he went back to where he came from. Let's go put your hands on him. Okay, go. <laughs> hmm. oh, let's go look at him. First bear? First bear. Okay. Oh, he's pretty. <sighs> look at that. Oh, man, he's a stiff. On the stiff side. Oh, it's stiff side. Archer's Choice, Ralph and Vicky, Ken Ganglers, Joe and Matt and Shorty and my guides and everything. This was phenomenal. We waited a long time for this opportunity. Thank you so much for the Quiver of Dreams. I would never, ever, if it wasn't for you guys, be able to take a trip like this. So it means a lot. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs> but it means a lot. This is this fantastic. Ralph, Vicky, I'm sorry you can't be here. Vicki, I hope your mother is doing better and, and doing well. I'm glad that you were able to stay with your family and you sent two great guys up here to help us out. And um, a lot of fun. Joe and I had a good time. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Part two of the ground blind tip is a lot of people, as you see, a lot of the blinds are going black in the interior. Well, a lot of us don't have black garments to wear. Take a piece of, piece of HS netting and put it up in the arms and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, going back to, I have black here, but you see I have the camo here. You see when I put the camo netting in the background, my camouflage becomes part of the interior of the blind, and that will help you to be more successful in a ground blind. So that is your Bowling in the World Tip of the Week. You know what was really cool, Vicki, is that truly was Christy's, that's her dream hunt, a it bear. It was. She, she's wanted a bear for a long time, and we were really happy that we helped her succeed in that dream. And also, thanks, Ken, for letting us make that happen. That's right. Now, you don't want to go anywhere, because when we come back, we're going to see if Joe from the office yeah. can actually tag one of those Manitoba Joe Rush, monsters. Joe Rush, let's go climb in the hill. <laughs> 
Welcome back. Now it's time to see if Joe can bear down out of his Ameristep ground blind. That's right. You go, Joey. You know, it's cool. <laughs> that bear scent really did work. Yeah, it did. It kept those bears coming in. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Joey. Go, Joey. Go. Go, Joey. Go. Go, 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 Joey. It's quarter to two. We've been up here six days on the road ready to get here. Four days on the airports because of bad flights. We are here for the quiver of dreams. Up here at Gangler's Canadian Subarctic Manitoba Monster. Ralph and Vicky dream of this place every year. And due to some health conditions, Vicky's mom's not doing too well. They had to cancel their trip and asked if Matt and I could come in her place. They did not have to twist our arms, but under the circumstances, I feel really bad about being here. But we're gonna do what we can to get a show for you guys. Right here. I'll tell you what, we're up here in northern Manitoba, and uh, I'll tell you what, the craziest thing is it is light about 20 hours a day, but when it gets dark, it gets dark. And we got these headlamps right here, and they're working great. Yeah, they're, uh, we're, we're looking uh, forward to, to using them for the recovery. And uh, like I said, uh, I've got the smaller model, and Marsh has got the larger one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't do it. I look over at you. Mars, what do you got to say about that new light? Now that's a headlamp. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Ralph. <laughs> you little Italian. <laughs> Northern Manitoba with Kent Gangler's Canadian Subarctic. We got our scent ball hung out here from Bear Scents. It's dripping like crazy in the sun. This is the first day we've really had any heat. It's been pouring rain, nasty, yucky weather. Yeah. First night in this stand, though, we had a sow and cubs come in, and uh, we had a big bear behind us. We never saw it, but it, I don't know what happened, but it winded us, heard the camera, something we don't know. Took off out the backside. So we're back in this spot hoping that bear comes in, because whatever it was sounded big. So. Got a couple more hours of light, and uh, we're hopeful. I'm hoping that uh, if that bear comes in, we're gonna get it done. That's for sure. We just saw a bear, but it could be that salad. It's the bottom of the ninth. Base is loaded, two outs. Can Joe do it? We'll see. Welcome back. Now, I think that tag is burning a hole in Joey's pocket. I think it has. It ever happened to you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I know it has. We'll see if Matt and Joe can pull it off. Think they can? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Just saw a bear. But it could be that sour.
Fires, baby, did you see him drop? We have worked so hard. Oh, thank you, Lord. And we've been waiting for this boar to come in. I don't think he's a monster yet. I don't know. But he's a good bear. And he is like literally down to the wire. It is 1038. 1038. And we'll run out of light. And feel light within 20 minutes. I was shaking like crazy. You're shaking too. You're, you're just nervous as I am, man. Let's get my bear. Oh. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Smith fires, baby. From the shot, it went 10 yards. 10 yards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I'll tell you what. I'm still shaking. <laughs> I'm still shaking. This is not a bad bear. Look at the pads on him. This is not a bad bear at all, buddy. <laughs> we have worked so hard for this bear. We're up here at Ken Gango's Canadian uh, Subarctic up here in Manitoba. Matt and I talked about this too. We uh, really want to dedicate this bear to uh, Vicky and her mom. Uh, Ralph and Vicky couldn't make this trip this year, and this is the place they love to come. They love this place. But uh, Vicky's mom had taken ill, and they had to cancel the trip on Friday, and we were leaving. They were leaving Monday. Talked to Matt and I and said, "Can you guys swing making this trip?" And of course, I mean, we said absolutely, and we're very grateful to be here. But uh, I'd rather Vicky be here and Ralph be here and her mom be out of the hospital, safe at home, than to be here. But blessed with the opportunity to come here and get this uh, animal and see the country. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful it is here. Hey, Joey, congratulations. Congratulations to you last and Christy. Hour. That was awesome. It was. We, last yeah. hour, last day. And you know we talk about that a lot, but in reality, it happens a lot. It does happen quite often. And we, Christy, congratulations. We're glad we could help you fill that, that dream of yours. You know, we want to thank Ken Gangler, Canadian subartic, for making it happen. I mean... Marshall, John, thanks for guiding those crazy four. That's right. We want to thank Manitoba Tourism. Our partners, our sponsors, who participate in the Quiver of Dreams and who help us bring Archer's Choice to you every week. And the rest of you that actually watched and filled out all those questionnaires and all those silly questions that someone wrote up for you to answer. Yeah. Well. Hey, if you saw this week's Lucky Logo, it was new archery products. Nap. If you saw it, log on to archerschoice.com, hit the Lucky Logo button, let us know where you saw it, and someone's going to win some really good new archery product here, you know, some kind of me. So remember, same time. Same channel. Right, right here, here on, on the Archer's, archer's Choice. Choice. See you next week.